even with this being the week after major, we still got a pretty good field for this week at the Charles Schwab Challenge. So let's run through my top options for PGA DFS on FanDuel this week. At the top, I love Victor Hovland for this week. Hovland hasn't popped all that much recently, but he should benefit from a course of this nature. It's not a distance course, and Hovland is a guy who can place it well. He ranks fourth in good drives gained across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He's also second in approach in that time, meaning the ball striking for Hovland this week should be very good, and that always matters the most. Hovland ranks fourth in data golf's true strokes gained across the past six months. Hovland is $11,200, and to me, that's a bit too low for a guy with his upside. So Victor Hovland, to me, the top sub for this week on FanDuel. In the mid-range, I like Sam Burns a lot, checking in at just $10,200 because Burns, he did falter on Sunday during the PGA Championship, but overall played really well once again, which makes sense given how well-rounded Sam Burns is as a golfer. He ranks 17th in approach across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He can play so well off the tee, he's solid around the green, and we know Burns is a good bent grass putter. You're getting all that here for just $10,200, which to me is way too low for a guy with the win equity that Burns possesses. So Sam Burns, once again, on the map in the mid-range as a guy who fits well both with our approach and with the roster construction I want for this week. As far as the value plays go, I love Chris Kirk here, checking in at just $8,700. Kirk, to me, is just super under salary, given all that he provides as a golfer. He ranks 20th in approach across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He is 10th around the green and used that to finish 5th at the PGA Championship this past week. When you add it all together, Kirk ranks 14th in data golf's true strokes gained across the past 6 months. So, Kirk checking in $8,700, to me, is just far too low. So, no matter what kind of game you're playing, I think Kirk is a building block for cash games and for tournaments and a high priority play for this week on FanDuel. That's all we got here for the Charles Schwab Challenge from a PGA DFS perspective. Good luck to you. Have some fun. We'll talk to you once again next week.